everyone, my name is Arjun, I am 12 years old and I study in Greenwood I, 7th grade in Bangalore. This is my 4th time participating in Codable and I am very proud to say that I have won Codable 3 times in a row. I am very passionate about robotics and game development and my favourite hobby is to play electric guitar. Today, I am going to talk about a rising problem, food, but not just any food, food that fuels our brains and minds. Hospitals are flooded with blood tests and recommendations for healthier eating is becoming a daily battle. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could automate these processes and free up time for doctors and healthcare professionals. But that's not all. Imagine a world where anybody can take meals anytime regardless of their situation. Well, I introduce Picto Nutritionist, powered by Stempedia. This innovation tackles both sides of a coin in school and in hospitals. In hospitals, Picto Nutritionist can scan blood reports and suggest health care needs to patients. This frees up doctor's time and can enforce patients to take care of their own nutrition by through better nutrition needs. Picto Nutritionists can be deployed in schools to manage meal programs and can have the children to eat nutritionist meals which can improve their learning and capability. Picto Nutritionist is powered by AI and ML. It has voice recognition, image recognition and is human friendly and can converse in many languages. Picto Nutritionist is just a product and can be extended for any needs in the future. It has limitless just limitless potential. Picto Nutritionist is more than just a robot. It's a symbol for a healthier future where automation empowers doctors and healthcare professionals and ensures good nutritionist food for all. I strongly believe that Picto Nutritionist can make a huge difference in the world. I am really excited to see how it evolves. So now, let's see the demo. Please show your This blood report shows that you have a deficiency of hemorrhage. That means you have less vitamin K. So I suggest you to eat cucumber. So now I'm going to explain how I built this robot and how it's made up. So first things first, this robot is made out of two parts. The cardboard frame and the inside. This is the inside of the robot where this frame is built. This frame has a servo motor, so a servo motor, and it turns in order to drop the food. And there are three three walls over here, and this is one partition and this is one partition. This is a transparent sheet of paper, so we can see how the food is being dispensed. And this is the quirky kit which powers this robot. The quarky kit is the, the servo is connected to the quarky kit and the quarky and if you close this and if you close this hole like this hole over here, you put it inside this hole and plug it into the quarky kit. In front of the robot, we have two openers to put the food inside into the, into the two sections, and here we have some decorations. Over here it says the robot safe, which is Picto Nutritionist. And over here it takes it shows my team, Team Warrior Hero, and my name, Arjun Niti. And these are some food cartoon food decorations and the Picto Blocks logo is eating the watermelon over here. And when the food gets dispensed over here, there's a bowl which you can put any bowl you want and take food. And there's quite a bit of space for that. And there are also two blood reports. And they recommend uh, mixed salads. And it can dispense walnuts, cucumbers, or both at the same time. Simple but yet powerful. As I've told you, this robot is just a prototype. But imagine how much this robot can be valued with. 
It can be despite deployed in hospitals where it can go around all the patient's rooms, scan the blood reports automatically and dispense the food. Right now just dispense two types of food, but it can be stacked to tons of foods which can dispense any type of food depending on blood reports. This can also be very valuable in government schools as part of the meal programs so in, to ensure students get good nutrition and can dispense food by itself. Imagine how much manpower will be saved by just this one robot. I was able to make this robot only because of the quarky kit and the amazing features Pictoblox provides. If you haven't tried out Pictoblox yet, what are you waiting for? Install Pictoblox and make some amazing innovation. So now we're gonna get into a code review. So obviously I've connected to the quarky kit over here. And over here I specify if when click, clicked, it will turn on the stage with zero transparency and run this function. So in this function, it will play the sound, please scan your blood report. Please show, show your, your blood, blood report. report. And then it will ask for a blood report over here. And if I show like this, it will run this function. So if it's blood report A, it um, dispenses from one box and sh uh, please show your blood sh 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 information over here. This, this blood report shows that you are deficient in PUFA. So this is for, uh, I think, uh, cucumber. And then this is for walnuts. So there are two different types of blood reports and it dispenses to different types of foods. And it can also dispense mixed salad. So it starts at 90 degrees, goes to zero and comes back to 90. Here it goes from 90, 180 and comes back to zero. And they so wait one second between all of them. Have fun and keep innovating. Bye.